What's going on, everybody? I finally got my PSA submission back. It was a quarterly special for 80s cards. It was like 8 bucks a card. I think the minimum was like 25 so I had to throw a lot of bunch of extra stuff in here. Um, to be honest, it's really hard when you start grading 80s stuff compared to the newer stuff. So my hope was when I originally put this in, I'd have about three, maybe four PSA 10s. I'll tell you now, I'm going to spoil it. Yep, spoil it. One PSA 10 back. But I'm overall very happy for that one PSA 10, I will not lie. Uh, this was set out, I want to say like middle of May, got logged in the system, or arrived in like May 20th, 26th, something like that. I'll put the actual stuff down in the uh, description. And it just, it's got stuck about a Monday, before, well, two Mondays before Thanksgiving in assembly. So it just gives you an idea, your stuff can stick for a while. So without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at these here. So everybody remember when I first started this, I was building the 86 Tops Traded Set. Um, my idea was to try to get a couple more tens onto this stuff, but recently when I sold the whole thing, because it just went stupid in money, these don't really matter anymore. So a lot of this stuff will either be in the store, or it will be on my slabs. So if you don't see it in the store, check my slabs out on the website. It'll take you directly to my part of the store. So 86 tops traded hell in the air, mint nine. Really was hoping to make a 10 on some of these, but man, this is a hard set really to grade. And then we got Maldonado, came back a nine. I guess, well, I'll sleeve these up afterwards. I got them next to me. Roger Mason, nine. Eves, nine as well, too. Uh, Kiones, nine. And then I see uh, Andres Thomas, nine as well, too. So all straight nines. Thought I'd maybe I'd be able to squeak out of one or two of those. But didn't come back too good. A2 toss, Pete Rose. Thought I had a shot at a ten. Came back a nine as well, too. A little bit surprising here, but I threw this in. Graded. 84 tops, Nolan Ryan came back a seven. Let me my camera refocused on it there. Not too bad, but you know, I already have this in a Gem Mint 10 anyhow, so it'll probably just go into the store. I don't know the prices on this stuff. I had two Sandberg rookies I had back. I think these are his rookies. No, I lied, they're not. Um, second years, I believe. A3 was his rookie. Seven on that one. Eight on the next one. So, like I said, this is before I bought that new magnifier and everything else I've been using. But I kind of figured a lot of this would be that way. 87 Donruss, Don Ryan came back mint nine. Pretty cool. Huh, the Griffey Donruss, we went for it. Nine. Not bad. I think it still sells probably about 30 bucks. I'm not too sure. I'll have to look at and I, I just figured out, I kind of figured there's a little spot in the purple right there. It's probably what got me. Some I missed it when I was going over the stuff. All right, now we're moving into some more 89 Don Russ. Nolan Ryan, man, 6'5". And then when I started looking at this under a magnifier today, let me get the focus back. There we go. Ding corner, ding corner with white that I didn't see, and the white on that corner. Yeah, it was definitely going to get me. <clears throat> so, 6.5 on that. This one here came back, though, a 9. Pretty nice. I had a stack of shillings when I opened up all that 89 Don Russ. I took the top three out. There we go. So, two of these came back as 8s. One came back as a nine. Really was hoping I'd maybe be able to squeeze a ten out of one of them, but did not. A nine Fleer Henderson, mint nine. I'm sure Brian Crosby might want this. Have to let me know, Brian. Um 
A9 Bowman, very hard year to grade. I figured it was going to come back in eight, but I had to throw something in there. Still pretty cool. These are them extra large cards. And I think I had like end up getting a box of this stuff, and that's what came out. I knew the centering was off on it, and it was just going to be a hard grade. I had some 89 Fleers, uh, Griffies, eight. Ugh, I know, guys, I know. Still near mint. At least it validates the cards, and a nine. I think these are like 25 to 30 bucks here. Here comes some surprise and stuff for me here. Billy Ripken, the error, the six. I am not too sure on this, to be honest. I looked this back over. I did see a little bit of white on this corner here. The centering was not real horrible on this, so I, I just have no idea, to be honest. I, I, I don't know. Won't hear me say it too often. This one came back a mint nine. That's about I think this is selling for like ninety bucks or so being a mint nine. So this will be one I'll go on my slabs tonight. Johnson, Marlboro on the ad back here. Very rare error. We talked about this to begin with. Um I want to say this is like a hundred dollar card too, being a mint nine. I, I was really hoping one of these would have tend out either the Ripken error or this. But, like I say, you can never do perfect on them all. By the power of Grayskull! So, lo and behold, there was one PSA 10. Yep, you guys can already see it because I had it turned. There it is, $400 card. We nailed one. How I... But, man, oh, man, am I happy. Gem Mint 10 Griffey selling for 400 bones. This here will probably go into the old uh, display case for the time being. Uh, total price of the order cost me 242 That's what's shipping back. So, really, the Griffey itself paid for the grades plus everything else there. Overall, pleasantly happy, you know. It was eight bucks a card. I mean, what are you going to do? The nice thing is, it was only supposed to be up to a $99 value, and this is a $400 card, and they didn't upcharge me. So, if PSA is watching, thank you guys. I do appreciate it again. Um, I know it took a while to grade, uh, but, you know, you do have rules and stuff about, you know, uh, charging up and stuff. And I, from my understanding, that's why it sat in Q, QC2 for a little bit, because they had to get it waived. Um, but thank you guys, honestly. Pretty cool card, like I said, having a Griffey Don Russ PSA 10. There's like 31,000 of these graded and only, uh, I want to say it's under 1,700 or PSA 10. Very, very, very low pop. Well, to me, it's one of the very hardest cards besides the 89 upper deck because you got to look at foil onto it to grade. So very happy to have that into the old collection. Um, I used to have like the... Fleers and the scores and score trade tops trade. Well, those were so plentiful. I got rid of them And I said if I ever was gonna buy any more Griffey rookies It'd either be a Don Russ or an upper deck just because of the low pops when you start looking at overall people grading them and Well, there's one kind of off the bucket list now So hopefully you guys enjoyed this um, I did pretty good overall when you start talking, this is 80 stuff. It's been now, what? what's that going on? Some of this stuff's, well, the 82 is almost 30 years old. So not bad overall. A lot of this was just junk wax error stuff I end up winning or buying. And, you know, the boxes and razzes we did a long time ago. So, again, uh, some of this stuff will be in the store. Some of it will be on my slabs. This Griffey will not be either which way. Uh, by the time this video drops, which will be on Thursday, because I'm not going to do any scamming video for tomorrow, uh, I got plenty of stuff to do for that it coming up. But uh, this will be our stuff will already be loaded in the store in case anybody's interested into it. If not, there'll be like two or three things on my slabs. You guys can check that out too. But appreciate y'all watching the videos. We finally got a PSA submission back. It's only been. It's been about four months since I got to do one of these videos. Kind of crazy, huh? Kind of crazy.
But let me know what you guys think overall. If you guys be getting any submissions back, feel free to always hit me up, man. Do like, okay, hey, I post a video on my submissions. Check it out. I love watching this stuff uh, to see how other people are doing with their grades and everything. We're probably not going to get another one back, I'm guessing, for about two months. One of the economies offhand. My, uh, what do you call it, regular one, probably back maybe right before then. So it'll be a little bit of a dry spell. And then none of the court or none of the uh, what do you call that stuff? The values have even been logged into the system. They're just logged in as arrived. So it might be a long time before we see those. But we do have some economies out there. Three of them are in grading. One still in research and ID. Um, Beckett, my order just finally made it to my uh, account. No idea when that's going to pop. That'll be quite interesting. I think that was under a 10-day submission. <clears throat> It should have been back like November 3rd. And it's weird it said sent to repository, which means it's going to be a lot. See those five cards. And three, I'm already in mind. But other than that, everybody, thank you as always for watching the video. Um, if you're not a subscriber and you want to subscribe, please do. I've tried to put out some good content. I've changed a little bit of the dynamics of the channel this year. So a lot of it's going to be talking more if I see like supposedly scams and stuff like that out there to. Different topics for new collectors that are just coming back in either way. Uh, that just don't know a lot of this stuff that's been going on. So I'm going to give you guys some good content for the year. Other than that, take care. Have a good week. Uh, I'll have a couple boxes I'll be opening up. I'll post those over the weekend probably. But uh, take care. Enjoy your weekend when it comes up here in about another day. Uh, stay safe out there as always. And I'll see you guys in the next video.